welcome to online classes children today we will learn about division of decimals now the second one is division of a decimal number by another decimal number so to divide a decimal number by another decimal number you have to convert the divisor into a whole number so to convert a divisor into a whole number if there is one digit after the decimal point you have to multiply it by 10 so here I have taken an example where 1.6 is divided by 0 0.8. So here in the, the divisor is 0 0.8 and in 0 0.8 you can see that there is one digit after the decimal point. So the divisor will be multiplied by 10. So multiply the numerator by the same corresponding number to retain the value. So we have to multiply the numerator also by 10. So multiply 1.6 also by 10. So when 1.6 is multiplied by 10 you get 16 and when 0.8 is multiplied by 10 you get 8. Now divide the decimal in the same way you did before. Now divide 16 by 8. We know that 8 into 2 equals to 16. Write 2 in the quotient and 16 here then subtract 16 from 16 you will get 0. So the quotient is 2. Now to convert the divisor into a whole number if there is two digit after the decimal point you have to multiply the numerator and denominator both by 100. So here I have taken one example where 1.6 is divided by 0 0.08. So there are two digits after the decimal point in the divisor. So you have to multiply it by 100 the numerator and denominator both. So multiply 0 0.08 by 100 and 1.6 also by 100. So when 1.6 is multiplied by 100, see the multiplication children. First you have to multiply the 0, 0 by 1.6. So when 0 is multiplied by 6 you get 0. When 0 is multiplied by 1 you get 0. Then put 1 0. Then again the next 0 will be multiplied by 1.6. So 0 into 6 equals to 0. Write 0 here. Then 0 into 1 equals to 0 put the next zero so uh, now you have to put two zeros put two zeros then this one will be multiplied by 1.6 so when one is multiplied by six you get six here when one is multiplied by one you get one here now add all these numbers you will get 1600 here now put the decimal point after one digit from the right hand side it becomes 160 so the numerator becomes 160 and when 0 0.08 is multiplied by 100 it becomes 8. Now divide the decimal in the same way you did before. Now divide 160 by 8. So we know 8 ones are 8, 8 to the 16 right 2 in the quotient and 16 here. Then uh, subtract 16 from 16 you will get 0. Then bring this 0 down and to 8 zeros are 0 right 0 in the quotient and 0 here then subtract 0 from 0 you will get 0 so the quotient is 20 now to convert the divisor into a whole number when there is two digits when there is three digits after the decimal point you have to multiply the numerator and denominator both by 1000 and so on so the numerator will also be multiplied by 1000 here I have taken an example where 1.6 is divided by 0.008. Here 1.6 is the dividend and 0.008 is the divisor. The divisor is having 3 digits after the decimal point. So the divisor will be multiplied by 1000. And if the divisor will be multiplied by 1000, you have to multiply the numerator also by 1000. So 1.6 is also multiplied by 1000. When you when you multiply 1.6 by 1000 you get 1600 and when 0 0.008 is multiplied by 1000 you get 8. Now divide 1600 by 8. So 8 ones are 8, 8 to the 16 right 2 in the quotient and 16 here then subtract 16 from 16 you will get 0. Now bring this 0 down. Then 8 zeros are zeros, write 0 in the quotient and 0 here, subtract 0 from 0. Now bring this next 0 down, then 8 zeros are 0, write 0 
in the quotient and zero here then subtract zero from zero you will get zero so the quotient here is 200 thank you